It's 6.15, New Bedford's Dieterian Theater celebrating a century of performances on its stage. In that time, not much has changed inside. <laughs> no, I had a chance to go backstage and show you how the theater is set to get a makeover while still maintaining its historical significance. To take your rose-colored seat at the Zyterian Theater is to experience a tradition thousands of fellow thespians have experienced for a century and counting. There were once 17 theaters, live theaters, in the city of New Bedford. This one was actually the last one built, I believe, and it is the last one remaining uh, that is still providing live performing arts. Consider this, the Zyterian Theater opened in 1923 as a house of enjoyment for people coming out of the somber, isolating times of the Spanish flu pandemic. Fast forward 100 years to 2023, and the theater is now back open after the COVID-19 pandemic. We were the first to close and the last to open. Our theater, for example, was closed down for 19 months. As a movie house in a live theater, this beloved, opulent New Bedford institution has hosted countless headliners. Willie Nelson, Jay Leno, um, the amazing Marisa from Portugal, uh, Yo-Yo Ma. But the very detail and opulence that have preserved its 1920s charm are also now showing their age. We have 1,200 seats, and the seats that they brought in at the time were not brand new. They were used, and they were meant to just kind of hold this down for five years or so. Well, the seats are still there 40 years later. In the wake of the pandemic, and with a community hungry for a future of live theater, now's the time to make the renovations the Z needs, while also keeping that charm and historical significance. The biggest wish list item started with patron experience. Brand new seats, all new um, historic restoration of this theater space that we're standing in today, put all new uh, concrete down below the new seats, historic uh, seats, um, new paint, new tapestries that are significantly worn. The $31 million project is being funded in three ways, private donations, public funding in the form of state and city ARPA funds, and a historic tax credit. will increase the number of seats in a small amount, 60 to 80 um, additional seats. The Z is home to the New Bedford Festival Theater and the New Bedford Symphony Orchestra. But those programs won't be going away when the building closes for renovations. Neither will the other performances. Instead, they'll be performed elsewhere. 12 News got a sneak peek at a new exciting feature, too. A 1920s speakeasy below the theater. This will be an additional performance space that I would say most of us who are uh, involved in the project are really excited mm -hmm. about. Ushering in a new generation of live theater and performances with a nod to when it all began.